Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, we stand to lose a net commission of $3,000 today because of reasons not coronavirus. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is currently, what time is it? It's 7.34 in the morning on a Monday. I think it's March 30th. And I've been doing a little bit of work so far. I'm already showered, ready to go. I'm gonna grab all my stuff. I'm gonna head to the office. I know we're supposed to be quarantined, but look, here's the situation. I have a client meeting today that I'm gonna do over Zoom, but I need a very sexy background, not a white wall. And I got some other things going on and I have, I'm trying to do a three to four hour prospecting session today and I cannot, I cannot get that done at home. So I'm gonna go to the office, disinfect my desk, all that stuff, and then uh, get straight to work, folks. I will see you there. The vlogs, the We are here in the office. I'm gonna head upstairs, get set up, and I will check in with everybody once that happens. Hello, friends. So a lot has happened between the last time I held this camera. It is currently a little past 11 o'clock. I have only made two phone calls to expire listings that nobody picked up. As you can tell, I'm in the studio right now. I'm about to film a couple of videos for you guys, one of which is how you can get $10,000, possibly up to $10,000, thanks to the stimulus package if you're an independent contractor. So I'm gonna get that out to you today and then some other videos I wanna film and how good is the lighting right here, folks? I should just do the vlog here the entire time. But anyhow, I'm gonna get these things filmed and I'm gonna get in the, uh, get back in the office and I'm gonna be cold calling till the cows come home because we got a new goal this week. I want 2,000 dials, I want 200 contacts, and that's it. And I want uh, two videos out on YouTube. So that's my weekly goal. It's essentially double more, uh, what I've been doing. So let's get it done. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, we stand to lose a net commission of $3,000 today because of reasons not coronavirus. And it's super frustrating. Here is what's going on. I may have mentioned this in an earlier vlog. <sighs> so basically, here's what happened. The seller, the idiot the seller is, is supposed to bring 24,000 and some change to the closing table. And they've known this for about six weeks since we've been under contract. And we were supposed to close on the 27th of March. They on, I think the 21st or something along those lines, 24th, they asked for an extension to the 31st so they can get the money uh, they need for the down payment. I mean, sorry, for, to bring the closing to pay off their mortgage. Well, on a... Uh, on the 27th, we get a request of an extension again until the until April 7th. The issue is the guidelines for FHA have been changed and then come uh, April 8th, my client will not be able to qualify for a loan. And the thing is, this guy has been super uh, hard to get a hold of and he's been super slick with his answers, which means he's lying. So we don't believe he has the money or we think he's stalling maybe to wait for the stock market to pick back up or whatever the whatever the case is. But uh, it's annoying and the deal is going to fall through. And the worst part is the client doesn't deserve it. The buyers I'm representing are inc such incredible people. They've been super amazing to work with. They've been the easiest buyers too, by the way, for this this idiot seller. And, you know, they still can't seem to be moving in on, a, on their property. So we'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Uh, we're supposed to close tomorrow. And I'm expecting another update from the agent probably in the next hour or so. So fingers crossed. Prayers up. Anyhow, here's what we gotta do, folks. Here's what we gotta do. The work continues. If you lose one deal, you gotta go get two more, right? So here's what we're gonna do. I've actually already cold called today. I called for about an hour and 15 minutes. I talked to 22 people, 200 dials, all that good stuff. I'm gonna go back into dialing because the goal is to hit 400 uh, dials today and 40 contacts. So we're just gonna simply go to work. And I think the only thing I have left to do is maybe a consultation with an insurance broker about life insurance just to be on the safe side. And that's it. Oh, there she is. She just texted me. So I guess I'll get on that Zoom call now and then we'll prospect. And we're gonna prospect till the end of today, which is gonna be about five, six o'clock. Then we're gonna go home. And I obviously already did the buyer consultation. It was another investor. So I had to guide him through the process, see what's best. And we're gonna start looking for him as soon as we get him pre-approved. Now, back to work. 
All right, folks, so I've been on and off the phone with my attorney, my client. The deal is looking scarce, or not scarce, scary. And uh, we're gonna try to save it. We're giving them an extension until April 6th, and then we'll see what happens. The guy keeps saying, due to circumstances, I don't have my money, but we'll, uh, I think we think that's bullshit. <laughs> but we'll wait and see. Now we're back on the, <coughs> on the dialer. This is Mr. Grass. He's a machine on the cold calling. So we're gonna cold call together, and uh, we gotta hit that 400 mark today. Let's go. Folks, I'm checking in. It is six o'clock. We're still dialing. We're over 50 contacts deep. I think I've called over 400 numbers at this point. So it's a great time. I'm still on the on the Zoom call. It makes it a lot easier to cold call, but wanted to check in, let you know we're still working. But yeah, so we're two emails deep and about two warm leads and one is like maybe. So we'll see. So five possibilities in the in the making, folks. All right, it is 6.33 p.m. We are done for today. I'm gonna show you my numbers on the cold calling. We did it. All right, folks, so you see March 30th, move on over, 267 households, 470 dials, and 57 contacts in almost three hours. The goal is 400 dials and 40 contacts. You could say I'm a little bit of an overachiever today. Feeling froggy. And that about wraps up the vlog. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. I figured I wanna start something new with the vlogs. I want to sit down and give you a weekly recap because you see my Monday, but then you don't see what happened the rest of the week, right? So here's what happened the rest of the week. It's currently Friday of the same week. We had that deal that was falling apart. It's still falling apart, but we're praying to God, you know, divine intervention that we can actually close on our scheduled date, which is April 7th. So, you know, prayers up. I guess in the next vlog, we'll figure out uh, what happened. So stay tuned, do that. And in the last... Five days, I've gone a little crazy, folks. I've gone a little crazy. And last week, I was looking at my numbers, and I, you guys saw the video I did about, you know, why cold calling isn't working. And it wasn't working because I wasn't doing enough. So I'm like, you know what? Let's double everything. So I was like, if I'm talking a thousand, if I'm calling a thousand numbers a week, let's do 2,000 numbers a week. If I'm talking to 100 people a, a week, let's do 200. So I'm gonna show you the numbers I did this week, and I'm extremely proud of myself. And uh, the fact that I was able to put in this much work makes me feel really good about myself. And I think that's a really good benefit to have because it builds a lot of self-confidence. Uh, even if you are self-confident, it just builds more and the more the merrier. So let's talk about the numbers. Here's what we're working with. So the goal was 200 contacts. We far exceeded that. We're at 279. We actually set an appointment. Oh, I forgot to mention this. We're about to get a listing from calling this many people. And look at the days that I call. My goal was 40 a day, but this, this is Sunday, forget about this. So my goal was 40 a day, you see 57, 48, 44, 60. 68 is what I ended with today. I already had 211 contacts this morning when I came in, but I wanted to put in that work. And we have 2,100 dials uh, by the end of the week, just as promised. And if you're wondering how I'm able to do so much volume in, in the short amount of time, I don't know if you saw the call time, it's like three hours a day maybe. Is number one, Red X, triple line dialer. It helps a lot. Uh, it kind of makes the, the entire process a lot more fluid and you can get catch the rhythm and it's a lot easier. Number two, a little switch up of the script. I'm a little bit quicker with it. What I do now is I call and say, hi, this is George. Hi, George. This is Aaron with Remax First. Just call and see if you have any plans of moving in the next year or so. Boom. They say no, I say any plans ever. They say no, I go for the email or I don't. Boom, that's it. If they say yes, obviously, uh, different conversation. Reason number three, and this could be the most important reason, folks. My hands are getting tired, I'm sorry. The virus. Because of this quarantine, everybody is home. Most businesses are shut down, so folks aren't getting as many phone calls. Those robocalls have disappeared. Ask yourself, how many times have you received a robocall or a call from a foreign number over the last couple of weeks? For me, it's been zero, so maybe yours is different. But that being said, more people are picking up the phone. So as before, I would call an hour and get eight contacts. Today, I was getting 20 contacts an hour, and that is unheard of, ladies and gentlemen. Unheard of. I was actually getting more. It was 22 contacts an hour. That was my average. If you made it this far, that means you got the most out of this vlog because I think towards the end, seeing the action is what's really gonna benefit you the most. So if you made it this far, I want you to put in the comments real deal. Me and you, we're gonna know what's up. Maybe other people reading your comments, they won't know, but I'll know and you'll know that you are the real deal. So thank you again for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.